Friends, today through this video, for this pump, we are going to make a starter. But in the starter we are going to make, for turning on and off this pump automatically, we are going to use float switch. We will fix this float switch inside the water tank, so that as per the water level of water tank, this pump can be turned on and off automatically. For this pump, we have to make starter. And for this, I am using a contactor. And also with this, for protection of pump, we will use an overload relay. First of all, let's do the power wiring of this pump. Look, for power wiring, you need to use a TB. To this TB, we will bring power supply and connect it. I mean at first terminal, we will connect R phase, Y phase at second terminal and B phase will be connected at third terminal. Along with this, neutral power supply you want to connect, bring it and connect at four number terminal. Now this R phase power supply here, after connecting, take this supply and connect this with this terminal. Similarly take Y phase and connect with middle terminal. After this, take B phase supply also and provide incoming power supply to contactor. This overload relay is already connected with the lower terminal of contactor. In this condition what happen is, these three phase supply here, we get output power supply of these three at these three terminals. Power supply we are going to get at these three terminals. From this terminal, connect one wire and with this TB, connect this wire. In this way. After this, this motor we have, take the cable of motor and connect this with these three terminals. What will happen is, this contactor here, if this is turned on, then power supply flows from here directly to the motor. So for this motor, power wiring is completed. Now we have to do control wiring of this motor. For control wiring, first of all take neutral power supply and connect with this A2 terminal so that this contactor can get neutral power supply. Friends, whenever you go for control wiring, then use a MCB for this. So here I have a MCB. To this MCB, connect phase supply from here. Now from this MCB, output power supply we get that will be connected with 95 number terminal of overload relay. Like I told you in the starting, this motor we have, we are going to turn on and off this by two ways. First is manually and second through this float switch. To operate this motor by two ways, we have to use a selector switch. This selector switch I have here, we can say this selector switch as auto manual selector switch. How to do connection of this selector switch? Let's understand this once. After that, we will continue with the wiring. Look, in this selector switch, if you look at the back side of this, you will find four terminals. When you keep this selector switch at off position, then you will not get continuity in any of these terminals. But when you select manual position in selector switch, then these two terminals here will be connected with each other. So on these two terminals, we are getting continuity in manual position. So we can say this selector switch here, manual position in selector switch has these two terminals. It means for manual position, you have to use these two terminals. After this, when you select auto position in selector switch, then in this condition, on these two terminals, you will get continuity. It means power supply of this terminal will start flowing from here, when you select auto position in selector switch. So how to do wiring of selector switch, you must have understood. Okay then, let us continue our wiring. Now what we will do with this NC contact of overload relay, connect one wire, and in this selector switch with terminal of manual position, connect this wire. Now power supply which goes from the selector switch must go to start push button. For this, what we will do with another terminal of manual position, connect one wire and by connecting other end, provide input power supply to start push button. Now from this start push button, output power supply must go to stop push button. For this, connect one wire from here and connect this wire with this terminal. After this, from output terminal of stop push button, power supply which goes from here, connect this directly with A1 terminal. It means provide phase supply to contactor. Now to hold this contactor, we have to make holding circuit also. And for making holding circuit, NO contact of this contactor need to be used. Also, we have to connect this NO contact in parallel to start push button. How to connect? Let's understand. What you have to do, this start push button here, with above terminal here, connect one wire. For this, connect a wire from here and connect this with NO contact. 
Now with output terminal of ANO contact, connect a wire and connect this wire with output terminal of start push button. I am connecting here. So to turn on and off this contactor manually, connection is completed. How to connect this float switch? Before learning this, just understand this much that on this manual condition, how to turn on motor. Look, if you want to turn on motor, then what you have to do simply this MCB here, first of all turn on this MCB. What happen after turning on MCB is this phase supply flows from here and directly goes to NC contact of overload relay. Because here NC contact is used. Now whatever phase supply given here will directly flow from here and goes to manual position of selector switch. Now we have to select manual position in selector switch so that power supply can flow from here and goes to start push button. On pressing start push button, power supply will flow from here and will directly goes to A1 terminal of contactor. And we are already getting neutral power supply directly, so contactor will turn on. The moment contactor turn on, NO contact of contactor will become NC, so holding circuit is also connected. Now whenever you want to turn off motor, simply press stop push button. Motor will turn off. Now we will understand the wiring of this float switch. For this, what you have to do, this selector switch here, with terminal of manual position, connect a wire and with terminal of auto position, connect this wire. Now with second terminal of auto position, connect a wire and in this float switch, with common terminal, connect this wire. Now we have to use NC contact of this float switch. Friends, if you want to know that float switch we use, how to detect NONC contact in this, then for this I already made a video. I will provide the link of video in description so you can watch that video. In this float switch with NC contact connect a wire and this stop push button here with output terminal of this connect this wire. It means we connected this wire with A1 terminal. You can see this wire is already short here so with this terminal only I connected this wire. So friends connections for auto position is also completed. Let's understand once how starter will work on auto position. If you want to turn on and off this pump through float switch, then what you have to do, turn on this MCB, what will happen after turning on MCB is, phase supply flows directly from here to this NC contact. Now from output terminal of NC contact, power supply will flow and in this selector switch to auto position, power is supplied. Now when you select auto position in selector switch, the power supply will flow from here and goes to this float switch. Now if water level in water tank is low, then in this condition, power supply which came here will directly flow from here and goes to A1 terminal of contactor. It means contactor will be turned on. When water tank is fully filled, then this float switch here, output power supply which was flowing from here, it will stop this. It means power will not be supplied further from here. So in this condition, motor will turn off automatically. Friends, by clicking on right hand side video, you will learn how to connect float switch with contactor practically. Thanks for watching this video.